Hey guys, it's Sarah from ExtremeTrain.com and today we have a review and install of the Barricade 3.5 inch oval bull bar with skid plate in black, fitting your 16 and newer Toyota Tacoma. This bull bar features heavy duty tubular stainless steel construction with a black powder coat finish and is also available and polished if that's more your speed. This bull bar comes with an integrated skid plate as well as light mounts for the addition of lighting down the road. Coming in at around $220, this is a great way to spice up the look of the front of your Tacoma, as well as add the functionality of lighting with the included light brackets without breaking the bank. I'm giving this install a one out of three wrenches on the difficulty meter. It can be done in approximately one hour and features direct bolt-up installation, but will require some minor trimming of your splash guard for install. All right, with that said, let's jump right into our install. For this install, we used a 16 millimeter wrench, 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench, 16, 14, and 10 millimeter sockets, an air ratchet, an impact gun, and a pop clip removal tool. So the first step for our install is to remove this air dam on the bottom of your Tacoma's bumper. For this, you're gonna want a 10 millimeter socket. And let's get this off. Using your 10 millimeter socket, remove the bolts holding your air dam to your bumper. Don't forget about the two bolts on the other side of the air dam, these also hold it on. With the bolts removed, remove your air dam. So this portion of the install is optional, but we're going to remove the grill to get a better look at where these brackets are going and to get to them a little easier. Grab a 10 millimeter socket and remove the two bolts out of the top of the grill. Next up, remove the two pop clips holding in your grill to your headlight. With all of the hardware out of the grill, pull up on the two plastic brackets on the top and then pull the grill straight out. We're also going to remove these plastic air dams behind our grill. Remove the pop clip. And you should be able to slide these out. Pulling straight out to release the clips, you should be able to twist it and remove it. So with our grill and our air dams removed, we can now see the crash beam nuts that we have to remove. We're gonna take off the two on the outside of our crash beam. We're gonna start with this one on the top because it is easier to get to from this angle. Using your 14 millimeter socket, remove this nut. So you do have to remove part of this splash guard in order to install the brackets. Ours has already been cut, but I have the piece here to demonstrate. You're just gonna cut right along this frame piece here and then straight out just to clear about that much room for the bracket. And with this cut away, we can now see the bottom nut. Grab your 14 millimeter socket and remove it. Grab the bracket marked P for passenger, slide it up through the hole that you just made, and over top of the studs with the top two holes. The third hole should line up with a larger hole in your frame, and you can grab the included long hardware and get that through. Grab one of the large spacer washers and one of the larger bolts. Line up your spacer washer to the hole Grab your long bolt and thread it through that part of the frame. Make sure you get both the spacer washer as well as the bracket. Once you have it through, grab a smaller washer 
lock washer. And then a nut. Grab a 16 millimeter wrench and a 16 millimeter socket. You may need a swivel for this and tighten these down. Replace the nuts over the factory studs. Grab your 14 millimeter socket and tighten these down. Repeat those steps on the other side. Grab your bracket for the driver's side. Line it up over the two studs. And with the opening on the frame, grabbing the longer hardware and your large spacer washers. Line up your bolt through both spacer washers as well as the bracket. Grab your smaller washer, lock washer, and nut, and thread them over the end of the bolt. Using a 16 millimeter socket and wrench, tighten this down. You may also need a swivel for this one. Grabbing your factory nuts, thread them over your studs to hold on your bracket. Grab your 14 millimeter socket and tighten these down. With our brackets in place, we can now reinstall our air dams and put our grill back together. Slide the air dams in and line them up to your holes and then snap in the pins. Once your air dam is in place, grab the plastic clip and reinstall it. At this point, we can reinstall our grill, line it up to the front of the Tacoma. Make sure you're getting the pins on both sides lined up. Line up the two brackets on the top. Reinstall your hardware. Grab your 10 millimeter socket and tighten these down. Reinstall the push clips at the corner of your headlights. Now that our grill is installed, let's shut our hood. So one thing to note is that if you would like to reuse your splash guard, you will need to make two small cuts in it to clear the brackets that we just installed. Hold your splash guard up to the bottom of your bumper, measure for your cuts, and just make sure not to cut into this top strip here so that it can still be held onto your bumper nicely. Now you don't have to reuse this if you don't want, and we like the look of it without, so we're going to proceed with the install. Grab the one marked D for driver's side and line it up to the driver's side of your bull bar. Grab your hardware, the eight by 35 millimeter, and thread it into the holes. Now you want these snug but not tight so that you do still have a little bit of adjustability with this bracket. We're going to need it later when we bolt it up. Next, grab your bracket marked P for passenger and line it up to the passenger side of the bull bar. All right, with our brackets in place, we can now get our bull bar mounted to our Tacoma. Line up your brackets on either side of the brackets we already installed on the Tacoma. Once you've lined up the brackets, grab your hardware and slide them through with a washer and lock washer on each side. Re 
Repeat that on the other side. So now you wanna adjust your bull bar to where you want it angled on the front of your Tacoma's bumper. You do have a quite a bit of adjustability in the brackets here. So once you get it to a spot where you like it, hold it there, grab a 16 millimeter wrench and socket and tighten down your bolts. Repeat that process on the other side. Grab your 13 millimeter wrench and tighten down the bolts holding this bracket to the bull bar itself. The top bolt's a little tight to this part of the bracket so you may need to use the open end for this one. Repeat that on the other side. All right, that is gonna do it for the review and install of our bull bar. Remember, for all things Tacoma, keep it at extremetrain.com.